morning, everyone. Let me just get a little relaxed here. Christina with On Point with, Chris, with uh, Christina. On Point with Christina. This is my second filming, and I'm so excited today. We are outside in beautiful Jack's Beach, Jacksonville, Florida Beach. For those of you who don't know, Jack's Beach. Jacksonville and Jack's are actually the same thing. And you can use J-A-X. So if you write someone here or send me that big check, just put J-A-X Beach, all right? 32250. <laughs> All right. So today I'm excited because I got a sweet man here next to me. And we're going to talk about why. But first, we're going to find out who he is and where he started before we share all this great information with you. So we have Mark Patterson, right? Hello. And Mark, how old are you? I am 44. He's 44. Now that's essential. I want you people to understand that for those of you who have not joined me before, my show is uh, to enlighten you, encourage you, and empower you. So I want you to know that if you're 44, you still have an opportunity. Just pay attention. We're going to talk about uh, what Mark is doing with his life now and give you some encouragement to move on with yours, okay? So, Mark, let me ask you this. When you were a child, we need to encourage people who are starting out, maybe teenagers who are in a place right now where they want to make a decision what they want to do with their lives. So what were you doing between 8 and 18? Give us a little scenario. Um, uh, I'm from uh, upstate New York, small little town called Paulson Spot, New York. Um, and school was, middle school, high school was fairly easy for me. Um, I never really had a, a, a future plan. I was always kind of living by the seat of my pants. and just living from one experience to the next. Um, and then as I got into high school, uh, we had a, uh, went, everyone was brought into the auditorium and, and our guidance counselors got up and spoke to us and said, listen everyone, we know some of you, or most of you aren't going to college, some of you are, and that's who we're here to talk to. I was like, really? I'm like, <laughs> you know I mean? So I was like, okay, so maybe I'm not ready for college. I, I tried college and I wasn't ready for college. So after college, I joined the military. Uh, I was in the uh, Navy nuclear power program and I sat around with people I wasn't comfortable with and didn't feel like I was in the right place in my life. So I moved on from that. And, How long were you in service? Uh, just a couple of years. I was, in school, I was in school the whole time. Well, thank you for your service yeah. anyway. You made <laughs> you know, a choice. Yeah. You know? and, yeah. And once again, right, I'm glad I did. I followed in my father's footsteps. My father was a nuclear power engineer, and so I kind of, like, didn't know what to do with my life. So I'm like, let's, let's try this. <laughs> <laughs> See, okay, but let me hold that thought for a second because I want to speak to teens who are thinking right now, let's try this, because that's what we do. That's when we're we young, we're not quite sure what we want or where we want to go, but at least he made a choice to try something productive. So yeah. that becomes part of your portfolio. So if you're thinking that what you're doing now, and I always say this to young people, whatever you're doing now, make that part of your portfolio. That was an experience. That's a memory. That's something they could add to. Oh, oh absolutely. Your life and journey. I, I learned a lot. I experienced new people. I experienced a different lifestyle. And absolutely was part of my growth. Awesome. Yeah. Growth. That's what it's all about. Um, so from the military, I, I moved back home. And I'm like, what's next? <laughs> and I'm in a small little town, obviously not a lot of opportunities. Uh, I had a girlfriend at the time, and I'm like, I, I, I can't stay in Boston Spa. My brother, my brother who's traveled around the world, called me up, just, just do one thing. Leave Boston Spa once, and you'll, you'll understand. I'm like, really? So my girlfriend and I packed up. I had a brother living in Charlotte, North Carolina. We moved to Charlotte, North Carolina, and started over. Okay. Another thought. He had a plan. Now. I didn't have a plan. I just took off and said, I'm just going because I'm spontaneous like that. Some of you may be spontaneous. But he said he went home, thought about what he needed, not sat around or grabbed a rope remote control and became a couch potato. He went home to, what do you say, reboot, rethink, make another plan, and move for you lazy people out there. I love you, though. I do. I love you. But you know what? If you're home now and you just come home, and you're trying to make a decision, take his advice, well, make the plan. And, and to be prepared for that, you need money. Okay. So I took any job I could get. Um, I, out of the military, I had a little bit of money left. I didn't have a car at the time. I would walk to work. I was washing dishes. I was cooking just so I could have a bankroll when I, some money in my pocket. Put your plan in action. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right. All right. So now you left home. 
and you get to Charlotte, North Charlotte. Carolina. Okay. And, uh, and this was a, what year? Do you know? Because Charlotte was nine. growing. Yeah, Charlotte is no, no. That I was, I was in Charlotte as they were building the football stadium. So I think okay. like 93, 94. Okay, yeah, it wasn't, it's very, it's, Charlotte is pretty big now. It's kind of like grown a lot. Right. So you got there and there were some jobs available. Right, right. I mean, I, 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 the first day we landed, I, or first day we drove into town, we got up, we got an, my girlfriend and I got an apartment. My brother moved in with us and to help with the cost. And we, uh, both my girlfriend and I went out and got, got jobs. And, um, we only stayed in Charlotte for approximately seven months. When our lease was up, we're like, we need to find somewhere else. This is our personality. And we uh, had a friend who was living in Jacksonville Beach, Florida, where we are today. Yeah. And uh, a month later, we saved money, moved down to Jacksonville Beach, got an apartment, and it's been history since. Okay, so now we come to the history part. But before we get there, I have a couple more questions. Absolutely. Now, when you got to Jacksonville, were, were, was it as, I don't know, a lot of things have grown here. Oh, no, no, no. Jacksonville Beach was a, a surfing community. Okay. And I was watching people buy these rundown houses. I'm like, why would you buy these rundown houses? And if you look at Jacksonville Beach today, they had a plan. They knew what they were doing, and that's why they bought the house. Did you buy a rundown house? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I wish I'd been around. I would have bought some. <laughs> wow. Okay. So now comes the exciting part. When you got here, you started working. Yes. Um, I never waited tables, but I knew that was the quickest way to get some cash. So I took my first restaurant job. Uh, where I'm just down the street here at a pizza place. And it was a horrible experience. Um, <laughs> you know, it was just... Uh, spontaneous job sometimes Spontaneous. <laughs> the, the guy who ran the hair salon next to me, or next to the restaurant, saw me applying for the job. He came to run out and he goes, don't work here. He goes, he goes, <laughs> oh I'll, he goes I'll help you find a job. Oh, don't too work funny, here. too funny. And I started working there and I realized what he was talking about. Um, but it was still a job. It was still money. We still needed, we needed to pay bills. We needed to eat. So I, 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 well, I worked there while I looked for another job, and then um, my next job was a huge step. Um, I started working for a local restaurant, uh, family-owned, uh, chef-owned restaurant, and I worked there for 10 years and went from wow. busing, waiting, managing, to um, getting profit sharing in the restaurant in ten, ten, in, in, within 10 years. That's awesome. See, you got to stay where you are and like work through it. He, he didn't stay at the, the bad place, but he, when he got to the new place, he stayed and he rose through the ranks. So that gave you, now did that give you the funds that you need needed to take you where you are now? Or is there something in between no, there no, and where you are now? No. <laughs> no, so I was still single at the time and I was, you know, using the funds as a single man would, traveling and, you know, I bought, I bought a condo at that point. And um, so then I left that job. And I got another restaurant job working at another family-owned restaurant locally, a, a, a staple in Jacksonville Beach. And once again, I, I proved myself there and, um, you know, waited tables there for another nine years. Wow. And, and in the process, uh, I met my wife. Um, we got married. And at some point, uh, I was 40 years old, and I'm like, I, I have to find a way out of the restaurant industry. Um, I was just getting, I was getting too tired. I couldn't stay up that late anymore. And uh, so I worked on several projects during that during that time. Okay, personal projects or something to do with work? To uh, businesses. Okay. I knew I wanted to be my own boss. Uh -huh. I, I, you know, I researched restaurant industry, coffee shops. I had some online businesses just trying to figure out where I fit. And uh, when I started working with Naturally Smart, my current company, that's I just got real passionate about it and put everything I had into it personally. Not, just financially, but just like you put everything into your career, I put everything I have in. So, so what we're saying here is that when you find your passion, you know. Now, can you just share with some people how you knew this was a passion? Because um, someplace inside you, you must have known something was different. No. It's hard to say. It's, you just get, you get absorbed in it. You know, you don't consider work, well, I work eight hours today. I, I've done my gear. No, it's it's something you wake up thinking about. It's 
something you go to bed thinking about, and you know, it's there's that's passion. You know, there's no, there's no whether you're doing it at breakfast or you know you, you want to go away for or a couple hours, and you know you go away for a couple hours because you know you're gonna as soon as you get back from what you're doing, you're gonna put everything back into it. You talk about it constantly. You you, you search for help. You you know you look for ideas to grow yourself, grow your business, and and you become that brand. I mean. Whether it's a job or whether it's a company like myself, you represent what you do. Absolutely. And I don't mean representing couch potatoes. That's not what we're talking about. We mean this. And I understand what he's saying because I eat, sleep, walk, talk, and live what I do. I love what I do. He found the passion and it came naturally to him. It's not why you call it. No. Okay. No. <laughs> That's a different story. <laughs> so, take us to this product and how you got there and how all this came about. Um, then we'll tell you about the product, don't worry. We're getting yeah. there. Uh, like I said, I was still working in the restaurant industry. Um, I was very successful at what I did. I was good. I, um, I was at a high-end restaurant, so I, I talk business all the time to people, trying to figure out different angles. Uh, different relations and what they did, and, you know. So, you know, no experience in the food industry except for being in the restaurant industry. I, I created a product, and it all started from just trying stuff, better few products. I knew that was a trend. I knew that I needed to get healthier. I know my wife was always on the healthier trend, so we we're looking for better few products, and we tried some things in the grocery stores. And we're like, you know what, this stuff is not that good. And I wonder if we can do that. Or I, I, if I could do that, and I told my wife about it, and she goes, I give it a shot. And so I rented a commercial kitchen, and I, I tooled around, and didn't work out the best, so I'm like, hmm, how can I do this? So I traveled Florida, I drove, drove around for a year from plants, talked to manufacturers, talked to anybody who would listen to me, and asked them advice, and then I came to the conclusion that I could do it, so I hired a food scientist, I hired a manufacturing consultant, and we went to a plant, and spent a weekend in the plant, and created Naturally Smart. Did you hear all that? I hope you heard all that. It took work. It takes homework. So he drove around for a year and, and spoke with different people who were already in the business of, yeah. in some way. Industry experts. Industry experts. Okay, but this is for all of you growing entrepreneurs or people who are looking or feeling that passion inside you to create. Can I just make one quick point? Absolutely. Absolutely. In my case, every entrepreneur I've talked to or, or someone who is an industry expert, they have grown through the ranks to get where they are and they like to share. If you're polite, if you're genuinely interested, people will listen, people will talk. Um, you know, so don't be scared to ask. The only, the only reason I'm where I am is because people gave me the time of day. People showed, could understand that I was passionate about what I was doing. I had a plan of where I was going, so people were more than willing to share their advice and, and, and connections with me. Absolutely. That's how it works. So the passion is there. You do the homework. You're not afraid to speak, you're not afraid to ask questions, and you're open to listen and then analyze and research. I've had people that have come to me and said, will you do this, this, and this for me? And, and I have to say no, because I did a lot of research and uh, there are hours and hours spent just diving in and, and just relieving what I call that passion. Relieving it meaning searching and researching and finding out not why I'm ticking toward it, but how it can enhance my life and the life of others. So now, we're going to come to the actual product, and I really, the reason I contacted Mark is because, as you know, on Point with Christine, I'm always out looking for people that I can, that I'm genuinely interested in listening to about what they're doing with their life, so that they can enhance this show by enlightening, encouraging, and empowering you. The product is a food product. Tell us about this food product. Uh, my product is an all-natural, protein-enriched, frozen dessert. Um, so, in layman terms, ice cream with protein. In it. It's delicious. And it's called Naturally Smart Frozen Dessert. Um, and right now, we are focused on the retail. We're, we're in Whole Foods, Earth Fair, uh, Winn Dixie, Lucky Markets. We're in some weight loss clinics, some uh, doctor's offices. Uh, we're in Baptist Health. Um, 
we have some big opportunities exporting right now. We're, we're exporting to Bahrain this month. Now, now I, I, I know people are going, oh my god, they're in nutrition places. Ugh. No. Yet, I'm telling you, when you see Naturally Smart and on the box it's white with the blue, yeah. blue writing, um, and it'll be in the ice cream se section, because are you are you gonna make the little dot things out of it? You think someday the little ice cream dots? You know what I mean? No, no, no. That's not, you never know. That's not part of the game plan. But you know, we're always looking for ideas. Yeah. Um, so now, and, and it's only pint sized right now. Am I correct? Yeah. Okay. We had to look, we do have it single serve in some oh, you foods, do? in some some uh, food service accounts or okay. we, when we do events. Okay. Yeah, we, so now, I'm I'm gonna skip over something, and I'm going to say nice car. I'm going to say hey, a long point with Christine is down to earth. You know what? I love people to embrace. I want them to feel like they're right here. So, I have to ask you this before we go any further with that. Do you have any events coming up outside of Florida? Uh, outside of Florida, not. We, we have some food shows planned in um, beginning of 2016, but I'm trying to think. I don't think we're doing anything outside of Florida. Um, the only the only thing I have is, like I said, outside of the country for we start exporting to Bahrain and the Middle East this month. So okay, yeah. but but don't be don't be discouraged. Oh wait wait I do. Hold on. Okay wait a minute. I've got something. another thought. Well, what I'm working on currently is I'm working on our um, e-commerce site. The e-commerce so, site. So okay. you, you know we, we get requested for Natural Smart from all over the country, all over the world. So we're we're setting up this um, site so you can order Natural Smart online and have it delivered to you within one or two days. Okay, so um, they're setting up online now. Here's the deal. People are probably saying, how are you going to ship ice cream to me? <laughs> Let's talk about that for a moment so you're encouraged, okay? So what are we doing with ship ice cream? We'll uh, call it ice cream. Frozen this, products. This, once again, a learning experience, a lot of questions, a lot of questions to ask, and I, and I figured out how to do it through a few failed attempts. Um, it's going to be uh, overnighted or two nights, and it's going to be uh, the naturally smart pines are going to be placed in the uh, uh, insulated box with dry ice. Okay. And uh, hopefully within 24 to 48 hours, uh, you receive it. Uh, so far, so far I've been, uh, sent it to New York City, Chicago, Colorado, California, Germany. This and, is uh, packed in dry ice. And two two days. Yeah, two to three days. Wow. And I've used dry ice when I was a truck driver. I used to put it in my cooler. And yeah. it would last a long time. Yep. And and by the way, folks, when you get the dry ice, don't open it up and start sticking your fingers on it. <laughs> yeah. That is not going to be a the, good experience. The, the, there'll definitely be a little disclaimer what to do with the dry ice. Yeah, that. don't touch the dry ice. For those of you who don't know about dry ice, we'll talk about that someday too. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. So now this product is going out. So what we need to do is get you to some events like in Philadelphia and New Jersey and, and Nevada and different places like that. So if you have an event coming up, can they contact you and, and oh, oh, of course, there's a uh, contact page on our website, uh, naturally-smart.com. Naturally-smart.com. Mm -hmm. And we try to respond to everyone within 24 hours. So, you know, please let us know. And like I said, we're we're growing regionally. We're you know our whole game plan was to start with Florida. Or start in Jacksonville, which we've accomplished, and grow outside of Florida, which we've or grow outside of Jacksonville, which we've accomplished. And now we're growing throughout the Southeast United States, and then pushing our southwest. So. Mm -hmm. so. Okay. So again, homework, uh, people. You need to get out and about. And as he said, he started small. He started right here. Our our motto our motto at the office is uh, think big, start small. Think big, start small. I wish I'd known that. <laughs> I, I was thinking small and starting big. Yeah. I started totally the opposite. Yeah, yeah. That way you could really focus your efforts. And if there, if you do need to make a change in your plan, it's easy to do as you grow versus when you're bigger. So you know, the, you're, as you grow, you're going to be tweaking your game plan. You're going to be tweaking the way you do things the whole time. So it's much easier to do on a smaller scale and then a larger scale. Okay. So sense? it does make sense. Now um, the website naturally dash hyphen in the middle, not underscore, hyphen naturallysmart.com. Yep. Go there and check that out and they can order products if they want from there, yeah, okay. contact you from there, Yes. read more about the products, Correct. and you need to taste these products. 
I'm, I'm just thinking right now my mind is going crazy because I know there are so many awesome events coming up. And here's another idea. If you're having a Christmas party, some of you big corporate people, why don't you get in touch with him and have him bring some samples? That would be great. Give him dinner, you know, <laughs> get him there, treat him nice. He'll bring samples for your employees. So we just need to get this out because I tried it. I will never forget the day I met him at Whole Food Market, giving them a shout out. I love Whole Foods. And I just had to try it. It was so delicious. You know me, I'm not going to lie to you. It's, it's very, very good. You're going to love it. So I think that that is good information. We have enlightened you about how to move forward with your ideas. We've encouraged you to do so. And you are now empowered. So you need to do what? Get up and get her done. I want to thank Mark for this time. Short You're interview. Welcome. Thank oh, you so absolutely. much. I appreciate and it. Thank you. Everybody. We wish you prosperity with this. Is there anything else you'd like to say for us? Yeah, absolutely. You know, uh, talking about encouraging and and if you're going to move forward with any idea, you know, hopefully it's easy, but most likely it's not going to be easy. So just stay focused and keep on moving. You're going to run into roadblocks. Guess what? You're going to have to get over them just like life. So just keep on moving forward. Or stay positive, stay positive, stay positive. Stay positive. I agree with that. Nobody knows that better than I. <laughs> stay positive. Keep moving. All right, everyone. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. And prosper well. And stay tuned to life. And keep learning. We'll see you soon.